Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, GDJ Rod here. Uh, gonna show you the books I picked up this week. Doing my video kind of late. Had a, kind of a busy weekend. Not too bad, though. Uh, just gonna show you guys some stuff that I got over the weekend. Hope everybody had a good Valentine's Day. Got some good stuff for Valentine's Day. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll show you what I picked up this weekend. Uh, start off with my books that I got. Not a huge, huge amount of books, but I got a few. Went ahead and picked up Thor number five. <clears throat> book's not too bad. Uh, I like it, so we'll keep on getting it until it falls off. And now on to other books I got. I got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 24. This is the Black Vortex story arc. I haven't got to read this yet, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it. I think this kind of ties in with X-Men and some other stuff. Not really sure. But as you can see, it's got you know, all the Guardians on there. Uh, How the Duck. Some other people. So... Kind of looks alright. Uh, I've been liking the Guardians book so far. I'll we'll have to see how this Black Vortex goes. And I'm not sure if this is going to be an ongoing after the whole Marvel Secret Wars. Keeps on going on. Okay, now next. I got um, Hellboy in the BPRD 1952. Uh, my shop was actually out of these. So that's why I haven't picked them up yet. But my old shop I used to go to where I used to, you know, it was close to where I used to live. Um, I really miss going to that shop. I mean, this shop's pretty good and it's nice because it's like just a few minutes down the street from me. Um, it's a pretty decent shop, but they've got a good selection of comics and back issues. I think um, one thing I didn't like is I want to collect more Hellboy stuff um, and read that. And they don't have any of the, the, the trades or the any of the hardback graphic novels, any of the hardback collections they don't have. Um, they do have this in from time to time. I mean, my shop will order whatever I want. It's just something they'll carry on hand. But I stopped my mold shop, and like I said, I really missed that because they have just a huge, huge selection of everything. Um, so for anybody that's in, I know, Gimpy, uh, close to the Indianapolis area, I always go down, uh, I used to go to downtown comics all the time. Um, and they have three locations across Indianapolis. Um, so, they've been a pretty good store. We've got a lot of cool shit in there. And the guys in there are usually always pretty friendly. But anyway, I got number one. I haven't read these yet either. I'm going to be doing this after this video. I like the cover there. Mike McDowell, I like his, his uh, stuff. So, really got me. I've, I've read some Hellboy stuff. I like it. I just started really getting into it again. Um, I got number two. Really looking forward to that uh, Frankenstein book that's coming out in March. Add that, add that to my pull list as well. And then I got number three. So we'll be reading these later. <clears throat> then I picked up uh, Conan and Red Sony number two. Still pretty good. I'm liking this. I think this is maybe not this. I know it's a mini series. I don't even know how many issues it is, but it's four, five, or six, something like that. Yeah, it's a good book. Definitely recommend it. If you like Red Sony and like Conan, it's pretty cool to see the team up in this. I know, I've been noticing here lately they got a, a lot of Red Sony books um, um, out here lately as well. But I like this one. It's been pretty good. Second issue, still going strong. Uh, my girlfriend, she was nice enough to pick this up for me. My shop didn't have this variant either. And I wasn't really going to get it. And because of the cover price, it's like five dollars. Like, man, that's crazy. They're just going nuts with the Star Wars shit. And I'm a big Star Wars fan, you know. And but I've been collecting the action figure variants. So my girlfriend picked this up for me at the other shop where we stopped by. So yesterday we were out and about. But uh, yeah, that was nice. Summer she got me the Darth Vader. And this book's actually pretty good. I mean, I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough. To, if they're going to be charging four ninety nine. 
for cover price because books are so expensive now anyway. You know, I'm just mainly wanting to. I'm going to keep collecting the Star Wars. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep collecting this. I don't know if this is. I know this is going to be going off some more issues. I just don't know how many um, they're going to do. Uh, there's just going to be a mini series like the Princess Leia, which I'm probably not going to pick that up. Um, I, I don't know. I may. If just if they had the action figure variant, just because I'd like to get all those and find them up just because I think they look cool. But yeah, I got this and it was actually pretty good. Now, is it worth five dollars? Eh, no, but it is a cool variant cover, so not not that big a deal. And then also, I got my girlfriend picked this up for me as well. Uh, I do like I don't collect a lot of these. I get some of the random ones that I see that I like. It's the pop heroes. Final figure. She got me the Batman Arkham Asylum edition of the Joker, which I think is badass looking. So I'm going to try to go ahead and pick up the rest of these. I mean, they've, they've got Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Killer Croc. Killer Croc looks really good. But yeah, she bought me that and that variant for Valentine's Day. So I thought that was pretty nice. Don't worry, I got her stuff too. She got the car and candy. Stuffed animal, took her out to lunch, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, so I, I, I did my part. <laughs> um, and then we were at the mall, uh, I was actually getting new, new glasses. Um, so, um, I seen Hot Topic was having a sale on everything in the store. If you buy any item you buy, you get 50% off the next item. So, I went to bed. They had a lot of pop vinyl figures there, but really none of them I collect. They only had a few Batman ones there that went with the series, so I went ahead and picked up the two that they had that I needed to complete that series. So I got Poison Ivy. And then I also got the Harley Quinn, and she's in her little nurse outfit uh, from the game. And then back here you can see see all of them. I thought the Killer Croc one looked really cool because he's got like the broken chains and stuff. And then they also have the Batman. I also saw um, the variant version here. It's the blue, the blue variant, uh, the blue cow and gray suit. So yeah, thought those were pretty cool. We had those in my man cave room. Um, but that's it. That's all I've got so far for this week. Um, Probably the next week or so, I'm going to be getting a bunch of stuff from Amazon. Uh, I'm about done with school, and I'm cleaning my storage unit out, making room in there. So I got went by there today and got a bunch of my uh, school books that I'm not going to use or need anymore. And uh, went ahead and went on Amazon and. Uh, I went to the buyback program that they have for their books, and if you, tra you trade them in, they they pay you for them, you know, for whatever they offer for them. And then uh, so what I did was I, I ended up accumulating, you know, over a hundred dollars on there for not a lot of books, surprisingly. So and it's nice because they're books I don't use anymore, and somebody else could use them. So um, I'll be getting some stuff. I want trades and stuff like that out there. Um, Comic bags that I typically buy by the Ultra Pro current size that are the uh, resealable. Um, I know a lot of people still like the the um, fold flap that tapes over. I don't like them because I don't like taking a chance on getting my comic stuck on the tape. I know it's all preference, um, but with those, I like it because you don't have to worry about that. And you can open them back up and then re-stick the flat back on the, the seal. It seems to last. I mean, I've opened them up several times and never had a problem with any of them. But, you know, they're made out of a pretty good metal plastic, so acid-free. I know I know. one day I'm going to go and start buying Mylar, which is put some of my, my key books and stuff in, in Mylar. Um, when I have extra money to do that at the time. But my shop that I go to now doesn't carry those, so I'm gonna use some of that money that I get from Amazon and get some, just get my my bags from them. Just to have them ship them out whenever I get my other stuff, because I'm starting running low on bags. But I like them. 
Um, they work pretty good at that. I just don't like having to peel a piece of tape, stick it on there. I used to do that back in the day when I first started collecting, but uh, <clears throat> not really much anymore. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, man. I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. I, I had a I had a wonderful day. Um, you know, best of luck, some good quality time with, with my girlfriend, and uh, you know. Had a, had a good day, got some good stuff, and just enjoyed being in each other's company. Hope you all did the same, um, you know. But uh, that's it for this week. Um, I'll be back with another video. I get some more stuff to show you guys. So have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.